Hi, this is Andrew with Steel USA, and today we're going to show you how to put together your utility rack piece by piece. Um, I did this utility rack build yesterday, and I kind of learned a lot from uh, from my mistakes. Uh, it's not a hard rack to put together. There's some small little things to focus on. Uh, one of the big ones are these these extra plates uh, that come with it. These little support plates. Uh, figuring out where those go. And figuring out the easiest way to put them. Together. So I found the easiest way to put together is on the floor. Uh, I tried it upright yesterday, didn't work for me. So I found out the easiest way to do it. So go ahead and follow along step by step and uh, shouldn't have any issues. So the, the biggest thing to kind of focus on is there is two bars, two uprights. Uh, this is the top one, it holds, it holds the uh, pull-up bar. So this is the top one that holds the pull-up bar. It's got two holes in it. And the bottom connector has all the holes in it. So this is the bottom, the other one's the top. Uh, so something else to think about is it has these feet on it. And for the first half of the video, I'm gonna have the feet down on the ground. So it'll be propped up. And then the next, when I do the other side, I'll flip it over. So. Feet on, the, feet on the ground, it'll be propped up. Uh, and then go ahead and put these two bolts towards you on the rack if you're sitting on the left side of the rack. So for all the uh, top pieces, you are gonna use these brackets that come with it, uh, except for the pull-up bar. So bolt goes through. It goes through your pull-up bar. These are 24 millimeter bolts. Uh, for the whole project, you'll just need a 24 millimeter socket and a box in. So once you get through that plate, and then you got washer and, and nut on the other side. So now I went ahead and just took the other upright and I literally just laid them on top of the one I just built with the feet going up. Uh, once again, I did this yesterday. Uh, I messed it up since it's kind of backwards when you stand it up. Um, once again, you got your pull-up cross member. Make sure these two bolts are still lined up with these two on the first original one. So now I got it all put together. Uh, everything's nice and loose, but the racks don't want to stand on their own, so I got an assistant to help me out on one side. First thing we're going to do is put the pull-up bar in. Uh, I'm going to have the pull-up bar facing the front of the rack. Alright, last thing all we got to do is put in the back support. Uh, it doesn't matter what side you put it on. I want the belt to steel going outwards personal preference. If you want to go out with it inside, it's up to you. Uh, it does have these two holes on here so we can attach um, other attachments to it like the lap hole. Um, so it doesn't matter what side you're on, it's going to work either way. You should have two of these support pieces left. If you don't, uh, you did it wrong. Um, and look, all we're doing is going across the back two pieces with it. That is your Bells of Steel Utility Rack all put together. Uh, I don't have any bolts tightened down. Last thing you do is go corner by corner, tightening the bolts down. Don't over snug any side at one time, because then you'll go, oh, it's crooked. It will be crooked if you do one side one time, tighten it down all the way. I recommend literally equal and opposite. So if you're gonna do this top bolt here, do that bottom bolt there, and just slowly tighten as you go. If not, you will have some crookedness to it. Um, you shouldn't, but there's a chance you could. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped. Thank you so much.